Welcome to the highest quality production channel on the internet. My name is Peter, your studio host. And today we are doing a Skrillex Mumbai Power Chord Stacks 100% million accuracy. Even more accurate than the Skrillex's version. <coughs> the hell, man. Being sick sucks. Don't get me wrong, I'm not sick. The chord stacks are sick. So let me play this back and let's then. The hell? <laughs> let me play this back and then we'll compare two versions, mine and Skrillex's. <laughs> and you'll tell me who, which one is better in the comments. But before we get into this tutorial, make sure to side in that subscribe button so you don't miss any future sound design tutorials. That's what people say. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what a social norm is. <laughs> Did I got a copyright claim uh, already? <laughs> okay, so that was my version. Now check Skrillex's version. Now it's mine. So uh, you can hear the difference. Skrillex's chords are much more defined. They're like cleaner. They have they have a little bit d d different tone, and they are just sounding better. But how am I supposed to create? <laughs> I've checked all the videos on the internet, most of the videos on YouTube. I was looking for the most accurate remake, and I didn't found any one to be really close so that must be really hard to remake these chords and i also spent like 50 hours making them skrillex please if you are watching this video please let me know how you did that maybe we can collab with a video right uh that we can show people how you made these chords first of all i'm gonna include because uh here's the thing uh the um uh, 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 here's the thing the instrument rack and the effect rack is really complex as you can see it's long as hell i've used so many effects to make it sound pretty similar that now if you if you download it you will need to have a lot of different plugins so i will put a project file in the description anyway so if you have all these plugins you can access it and you can use it maybe also what you need is not only the plugins not ableton but a powerful computer It just takes 60% of my CPU and my CPU is pretty high end. Okay, so how did I start that? For the first three hours of making this sound, I was really struggling with finding a proper sound to layer. I know that Skrillex, like it sounds that he used some brass sounds. No, man, it, yes, it may be a part of the layer, but what are the other layers, you know? Uh, it was hard, really hard to find the proper sounds to layer together. What I ended up doing is I did a five Pro Q EQ matches at the end, and this is what changed the whole sound. That it kind of sounds really similar in terms of uh, tonal balance to the Skrillexes. So if I turn off these EQ matches, this is what we get. And this is with so starting with the serum sound all the effects are turned off maybe let's start with the brass actually so after we, we, i had this sound of course there's some eqing going on some ott just to brighten the sound then i i start adding an lfo tool which does a volume automation and what is really important here is that the LFO changes. It's not the same LFO here. And this part is more like a sustained one, like da 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 da. And here's like da 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 da. Uh, you can do this by automating this one. If you go into automations, you will see that this is changing here. 
right from one to two so different shapes yeah so after after that having this whole rhythm i started adding more layers i've tried like 20 different sounds maybe probably skrillex used some unique sound that is not accessible into synths right maybe i don't know again skrillex if you're watching this video let me know bro i would love to learn the your sound design you're a legend bro How do you know maybe Skrillex is watching YouTube tutorials all day? That's why he's so good. Another sound. Uh, this is brass sound. Oh, I didn't show this one. This is just a, just a sampler, brass in the sampler. This one is a contact, contact five. No, it's just a contact. Brass ensemble, sustain one, uh, not much else. Uh, another one. This one is the same one, but it's a staccato and it's pitched up one octave. Also some OTT and EQs. So together. Starting to get pretty beefy. And some strings. The same thing, but it's a string ensemble. Staccato. Some fab filter. Why do I hear only on the left channel? Bro? What the hell is this with this cable? What the heck? Oh, do I have to replace my audio interface? No. Maybe yes. Maybe I can get a better one. That looks cooler. This one is kind of dirty. <laughs> yeah, so a strings. Then we have a serum sound. One of the Ultimate Future Bass Extra Serum Presets Volume 2 preset called Lush. It's really bright because I, I EQ'd it pretty heavily. And also some additional EQs to delete some mid side, mid, mid signal and to just decrease some top end. Some really detailed chord stacks together. So this is what it sounds like together, all the chord stacks. Yeah, so this is a, this is a pretty cool sound on itself. If you want to use it in your songs, then hell yeah, uh, that can be pretty useful. But if you want to get like beefier and more crazier, you will need to uh, enable this plugin. So let's go through the effect rack one by one and see what happens here and why is this thing, these things are here. So some EQ to delete some low end if there is one. Oh, and this is this is a really cool plugin I got recently. Thermal. Do you remember Portal by Output? It's something like that, but it's not a granular effects plugin, but it's somehow kind of similar. It, it's a distortion plugin. What's really cool about it is that you have a lot of presets that you will definitely find one that fits your sound. And the presets are really unique. It's pretty hard to replicate them with just a standard saturator. I have this holy moly preset, which I don't remember which one is it exactly. Uh, maybe there's holy moly? No, it's like a user preset. Anyways, it it modulates some things. Every 1-8 bar, and it gives a little bit more transients and punch. So I used also another one, which does the same thing. The chord stacks now got really beefy. So there's not a distortion plugin that I really like to use. A FabFilter Siren 2, it's a multi-band distortion plugin. You can also distort the whole frequency spectrum with one. So yeah, I used a different uh, distortion types on different frequency bands. Just like some additional beef. This one is actually not being distorted. Highs are being clean, pretty good. It kind of squashed the sound a little bit. So Pro Q3, here I, I started getting into the tonal balance. It, it gave some clarity and deleted some harshness in the sound. Sounds pretty decent. And then we have Utility, which is which is just making the whole thing quiet in this these spaces because in these spaces there's this vocal playing cool and then we have a saturation knob just a little bit of the saturation just a tiny bit some some details and then we have eq8 
st starts to sound similar in terms of tonal balance and uh, more closer uh so oh oh so what i did next is i decided to use ozone 8 use a master assistant uh ozone is a mastering plugin Use a master assistant uh, with the reference track. I loaded a reference track inside it, which is a which is a Mumbai Power drop, and I did the tonal balance thing, and this is what it created. Yeah, so it started to get pretty similar. Then we have these five EQs. And then a Saturn. So this is actually the base automation. It should be here. Uh, we'll, we'll get into that uh, in a moment. Then we have Thermal again. With the same preset for some uh, additional beefiness. And that's the whole thing. I will admit it sounds pretty similar, but it doesn't have that punch and clarity that the Skrillexes have, uh, Skrillexes so sauces, sauces have. So another thing is the bass underneath. Pretty simple, just sine wave kind of deal. Just a sub, another sub on top, uh, another sub with a fifth on top for some harmony content. Yeah, so in this part, there's a distortion on on the low end because that's what it is in the original song uh, i guess that's it uh, another thing of course drums not really quality but what i did is now you can use a like a arc 7 or splitter to get stems from the song so that's what i did i just put a song into a into a rx7 and i exported drums this is not really quality but it gives you the most accurate drum sounds after that i decided to put some transient shaper to get more attack and less sustain and then I just free clip that so the transients are not really loud I put everything in a rack you can just create chain here put instruments inside here maybe if you want you can just replace them these instruments and maybe you can find better ones maybe this this effect rack will work pretty nicely on different sounds so that's it for this video if you want to grab this project check out the link in the description make sure to size in that subscribe button and have a nice day and see ya in the next one. So that's it. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, we can side on that subscribe button. Also, you can visit my site oversample.us for some high quality samples, presets and free 